uh, one second, I welcome everybody uh, for the presentation on how to plan for startup and legal and ethical steps. Okay. Uh, rather than concentrating much of the you know, PPT lines, I will just uh, take you to the practical experience, okay, which I have gained from India and from outside countries. So, one second, I thank you, Ajay sir and Sri Hari sir, for arranging this uh, for the STCA students and many other colleges. How to start? Uh, before that, just I want to ask you, all of us from what kind of, you know, what semester students are here from final year or uh, fourth, seventh, fifth, sixth, 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 and fourth. Okay. Uh, nobody from final year. So, so I think uh, it is a right time for you people. Okay. So when you enter uh, seventh, seventh, everybody start looking for jobs or opportunities. But we have to think of how to create the opportunities that is missing in India. Okay. So let me try how we can uh, achieve in creating opportunities in India and becoming a successful entrepreneur. Okay. So uh, many people are having knowledge, and let's say in terms of product development or technology development, but they don't know how to start. How to start taking that technology to the world? How to introduce your product to the uh, different sectors in India and outside India? That matters a lot. The start word is very, very important for many of the people. Okay, so you can start a startup or a company as an individual or a group of people. Let's say you and your friends are having different different domains. Somebody may be experts in Java. Somebody may be experts in embedded programming. So you together can start. Basically, it requires minimum two to three people to start any startup companies based upon your uh, knowledge in which category you are having. And after that, measure by what kind of category or what kind of technology or product you are going to start. Okay, either your company should be product oriented or technology oriented. So that matters a lot. That you have to make an analysis. After that, the very key important role. Everybody will start the company nowadays. How to run that company in a successful way? How to reach out your product or technology to the clients? That matters a lot. So, for that, what you have to do? You have to do a market research and analysis. Let's say, for example, if we have developed a product, so who is who are the users in the market? Either whenever, like global, you can search global clients or even local clients. That market study is very, very important. Okay. Next, uh, Main thing is uh, who, who are the customers are looking for your solution or your product. That also matters a lot. Okay. Uh, and higher, for example, let's say you decided, like you and your uh, friends together, uh, decided to go with either product oriented or technology oriented company. So you have to think what is the unique next of your product and technology? Because you know, every day many companies are starting, many technologies are getting invented. So in that way, how you are unique from others, that works well, okay? And how complicated your technology and product are the, compared to others. That's something you have to make carefully. And you have to create a business model. Let's say you decided two of you are starting a company with very unique technologies. It has got a uh, very good unique features, either product or software, either like hardware product or software product. Then you have to construct a business model for that. So how much? How much uh, software products or how much hardware products you are going to release, and whatever price analysis, price costing you have to do for them, proper costing. Okay, that is for business, and how you will create a revenue call from that product or uh, hardware. Okay, and you can set the size of the market, like for example. So if everything is going well, uh, whether it could be in small scale or medium scale, so how many products you are going to release per month or for every six months per year, the size of the market you have to set based upon the price order. The competitive landscape, again, uh, as I told, your product should be unique in nature compared to others, and it should be cost effective also.
So how Flipkart has started and uh, it's a digital e-commerce company. So started by Vinny Balsali and Sachin Balsali. What is the idea has been, you know, uh, motivated them to start because many people from earlier, many of the products which we are buying in day to day's life, used to need to give more money for them because it has to come from uh, manufacturers to wholesaler and different middle parties like uh, agents and then it used to get anyone to the uh, like buyers like us. But what these two guys have done, they engage with many of the manufacturers in India and even outside India. They had an agreement with that. We are going to sell your product directly from your factory to the end user. We are the end user. And they brought a very good online e-commerce platform called Flipkart. So now it's a very form, you know, very famous and fast selling you know, online e-commerce company in, the, in India. Next, OYO Moons. Quite a part of OYO Moons everywhere you will be seeing in many of the districts and towns and in uh, different, different you know, metropolitan cities. So how this guy Sandeep uh, uh, Mr. Ritesh Agarwal has come up. Actually, it is his uh, personal experience. He went to some hotel actually. Uh, a cost, he actually he wanted to stay in because of some he went, he traveled to some city, one of the city, and he went to one of the hotel. He approached the owner, setting up he wanted an accommodation. So then they told him it's a huge money actually, around 2,500, 3,000 more than that. Because for some of the people, that money is very huge. So he can't afford to afford that much. He was looking very budget friendly rules. So around 500, 600. And he could not able to get. From that day onwards, he decided. He decided and he made a challenge. He will afford a hotel rooms in India and even outside India as much as less. Right now today, in OA rooms, in some of the city, you will get the rooms for 100 rupees. Can you imagine? So he, he built such a system, such a OA room, you can get across India. So he is one of the actual startup, but he is now a grown up in the global market. So now we can one more uh, good startup, but it is now a very big established company called the uh, Polygon blockchain. I think you have heard of blockchain technology. I think many of the I think that is people are aware of crypto, crypto coins. So the all coins are now run some their own respective blockchains. For example, Polygon, Binance, Ethereum. Okay. Um, so uh, that is also I just started to one of the Indian Sandeep, uh, Naivail and Anurag Arjun. They are the Founder and developer for the Ethereum blockchain, but later on they came to India and they started their own blockchain called Polygon. Okay, uh, that is now with a market cap of worth more than one billion dollar. The Polygon market. He's also one of the entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs. And right of us again, I think everybody is kind there. Okay, I think we'll be looking at the case for our city is going compared to the rest of the places. His reason also the same one. Once upon a time, he struggled to get a buses in a very less budget. But he really he brought I, he brought all the transportation companies in a single platform and he made a you know, transportation uh, like a e commerce platform to book the tickets. Even if you can get in very cheap rates, very less budget. So these are all we can uh, name some of the successful entrepreneurs who are started from uh, with a lot of struggle. And you know, uh, very innovative technologies and ideas, and now they are all in a successful positions. You can just take them also you are come up to our group, uh, motivated as well. Let me say, okay. Now, uh, just to be comfortable, some of the legal and ethical steps, for example, uh, as we discussed in the last five ten minutes. So to start, we should have a good team, good knowledge, and uh, get a like product or technology investment, and the cost estimation, and finding a good customers, and dealing with them, and setting the product and creating their revenue. But many people are having the doubts. How to start in a sense? What are the legal formalities are involved in this? Okay, for example, first the thought comes where to register, how to register the company, right? 
So there are different categories in the startup companies. For example, let's say you can start as a sole proprietorship. It has got very limited liabilities and also less formalities, like what we call it as ROC complexes. It is a private limited company. Private limited company, for that you should have minimum two directors and maximum of two your choice. Okay, and public limited company. Public limited in a sense, the all uh, your equity or the funding has been done by the public limited and you have to share some of the IPO shares to the public because you are ready to invest on it. And again, in partnership, you can start a company and in limited liability corporate These are other different categories, but my suggestion you will go for the private limited, which will best suits and it has got more benefits you can get from the government and also to. Grow very uh, fast. I think private limited is the best way of registering your companies. And you can register your companies in NCA portal on your own. And also, nowadays, many agencies are there, like India Finance, Public Service, Money. You can register your startup companies for them with very minimal fees. Okay, applying for business licenses. For example, let's say you have already registered your company. And for, to do the business, for example, if you want to develop an application for the commercial line or for some uh, military segments or for aviation line, certain business licenses you have to get. Otherwise, nobody will take your products. For example, let's say if you want to export your product for some of the European countries, the NATO standard is very much. Okay? Those all licenses you have to get it through the respective bodies. Understanding this is the major role in uh, startup companies because so before starting, of course, however, you will get registered in your company and you start developing some of the product and you have to follow some of the taxes in the accounting laws. Your day to day, you are going to be doing working within GST filing, income tax filing, these are the mandatory taxes and laws for the startup, startup companies. Okay, for example, the government of India has you know initiated some of the uh, startup media scheme. There are tips up to three years. Let's say, for example, your ideas or your whatever products which you are going to develop. If those are not approved from under the scheme of Startup India, you will be accepted from the tax for up to three years. You can claim in which year you are doing much business. So you will get some benefits. And adhering to labor laws. So, for example, so if you start growing your business, let's say you start recruiting up uh, more and more people, you have to maintain some labor laws as per the government policies. For example, in terms of uh, year, uh, weekly holidays and pay, uh, paying, uh, payment to them and maternity benefits. And payment of bonus amount. Of course, obviously, many companies are offering nowadays that there is all the labor laws you have to follow. Otherwise, you will be put penalty from the NCR respective agencies. Ensuring protection of intellectual property. For example, let's say you have developed a very unique product. And we want to sell it to only for particular customers a particular uh, country. You have to file an IP, what we call it as a uh, patent. So that once you file this, your product, no one can copy that. Even though if you copy and try to replica, you can file a case against you. Okay. Just protecting your ideas and the technologies and product design matter. Methodologies. Again, from the government, also a lot of schemes are there, like SIP, what we call the scheme for startup intellectual property production, and protection and commercialization of intellectual property. You can also take help of government by filing an IP rights. Ensuring effective contract management. 
So as for the act of 1872 lots, for example, you'll be having many project agreements with many clients. Okay. There are certain acts will come according to those acts. You have to uh, make a contract. Otherwise, there will be a violation of laws. Especially now in India, we refer to Indian Contract Act 1872. And some employee contract act we have to follow salary, scope of work, and stock options, non disclosure agreements. For example, let's say you want to be with some of the defense and military uh, organizations, NDA is a must document for them. Okay, without NDA, they won't send you your requirements or SRS copy. Okay, you have to sign NDA so that it is a mutual understanding between your customers and you. Whatever the product or technology which we are going to develop, it will be not disclosed to any other third party. Okay, and it is, uh, this is how providing you know, for example, let's say so many people will start the companies and they will run for at least one or two years. After that, because of some struggle, or let's say they aren't able to manage, uh, or because of some uh, intermittent problems. So if they want to exit, there are different ways are there for them. For example, password exit mode, uh, port or tribunal group and voluntary closures. So you can close the company closing also matters a lot. Otherwise, you will be getting black records if you want to start again. Uh, some of the government of India initiatives for startup. Okay. I think we are all lucky people from last five or six years, we are getting really good support from the uh, government of India for this startup. Okay, there is a one uh, scheme called seed fund scheme. As I already told, if you have a good technology or product, if you, you have developed it and you don't know where to market, you are blank totally. So you can submit a proposal under Startup India portal. They will take you to many of the national and international exhibitions, workshops, where you can get exposure of your product. You can showcase your product in those exhibitions and you can get some leads and customers. And also, they will try to fund for your a prototype and some production activities. Some amount is there, like you can say 30 to 40 percent of your product cost. This is how the uh, uh, startup in that seed uh, fund scheme uh, work. For example, many many agencies are for this. Directly you cannot go. Like for example, IDX, SIDM, NIC. If anybody have that, uh, uh, you know, uh, altruism to write to if you have already product or technology, you can contact me later. I can connect with those agencies. So, for example, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade also. People start they try to take you to many of the trade shows, or workshops, or exhibitions, and there is an expert as well as committee is there for you. And uh, government assisted and non-government assisted, some bodies will be there. And again, uh, recognized startup. For example, let's say everything goes well in our product car technology got, got a good recognition and some approvals from government will be getting a fund and recognition awards. These are the very important uh, links are there. If you want, you can note, note it down. For example, where to get registered your startup companies so, and uh, how to apply for some funding from the government and uh, some of the government uh, sites are there. For example, TV technology development fund also one of the funding government for where you can get the financial support from the organization to develop your product. Yeah, of course, there is a Udyam registration portal. You can register your company uh, under MSME Act. Okay, let's say for example, your company is in coming in the category of your MSME, you'll be getting more benefits from the government in terms of uh, tender opportunities because many of the organizations, like you know, uh, mainly military organizations nowadays giving more preference for MSMEs. They support you, for example, they are trying to uh, very well that you are L2 in tender. Let's say, for example, L1 is some foreign company, you are the L2 company in price bid, 
you get awarded 50% of the order for meetings. And also in terms of the payment, deliveries, you get a lot of benefits if you are an MSME company. It is called micro, small, and medium establishment. Uh, and again, government has introduced from last to five years jump portal, government e-market. This is one of the best you know, marketing portal for the startup companies. Okay, whatever the product you have developed, or the technology you have developed, you can just load into the jump portal. For that, you have to get an account, you have to fill your all company data. Once it's approved and your product got loaded, your products can be purchased from anybody in the world. So including government of India. And also you can of course DDP and more different department of defense products and if your products fall some of the defense category. Thank you. If you have any doubts, please ask me now. Feel free to ask very open, no, no issue. Don't hesitate. If you don't ask questions, then I will ask questions. Does anyone have an idea at least or developing any some new technology or product on your own? Do you have any idea at least a thought? So that we will enter a solution. And that's the proposal of that product or technology which you are going to implement will support you. So, then everybody want to get a job and settle. Don't want to create jobs. <laughs> So, it was the lack of finance and cash flow. How wages went into losses? So, they are spending huge amount for blind marketing. So, which is not required. Once if the company or any startup got established and they should follow up proper finance and cash flow and decent marketing. And of course, the quality also matters a lot. They pay me some of the steps by quality aspects and investing the money in different different build. By using the brand, they have got huge money, I think, from last two to three years, they are making 2,000 pieces of house. And finally, they are extracting that money and putting in different different sectors where they are waiting to mass. That we should not do. For example, I want to tell you one more suggestion. We are doing if you have something like one focus in concentration, concentrate for at least five to ten years in the same category. You get achieve what you are going to get with sufficient bond and um, whatever the customers, then you can start different verticals. For example, if you want to concentrate on only e commerce related products, you do it with fullest or up to what you are going to achieve. Like if your company has a turnover of after uh, 10 or 15 years of startup around 100 crores. Then you can have a sufficient fund. So you can put at least 10 15 for other project, other category, and you can experiment. But what people will do at the beginning itself, they will start in different, different verticals. I want to go for defense and uh, FMCC, trade, trade, and all. So that will be the last section that we should not do. Any 
Okay, just I will summarize whatever we have been within one minute. Let's please listen carefully. If you have a good knowledge on any of the technology or product, please approach me. Okay, with your group of your friends or as a team, two, three people. Okay, and what, what kind of product it is? Either it could be an uh, FMCC or related to military or related to the technology, or I know many technologies are related to blockchain or it is a sub module of chat GPT, whatever it is. Especially, uh, personally, I from my company will be important for the embedded products. Okay, for example, uh, now we are looking for some innovative technologies from the uh, background of video detection and tracking, which is more important role in the uh, security reasons of the many countries military. And we are looking from some of the ideas from image processing, data and sensor processing, okay, and FPGA. The FPGA is going to be a, a huge role in the coming days. They can combine many circuitry uh, uh, boards in a single chip. For example, I don't know how much you understand. So if you are developing any, let's say, for the related tags or any uh, some tracking uh, algorithms, then if you go for non FPGA based solution, you have to use many hardwares. For example, for vehicles, can board, you have to use a canvas, and you have to use a tracking again different uh, boards like Home Express, or uh, you can use some. XMC and BMC modules and for processing again we are going for DSP and NVIDIA and CUDA processors. If you are going for non FPGA solutions, we have to use five or six circuits. If you are going with FPGA, the JLX Ultra scale, a single chip can fulfill all customer requirements and the space compact also more. So I request if anybody are working on FPGA solutions. Blockchain solutions, especially video and image processing, image processing, data and sensor processing. We are ready to help your ideas. Okay, we will fund for that, no issue. So no after this session also, if, you, if anybody has come across some you know, uh, clarifications or if you want to really uh, have an idea, you can contact Ajay sir, CA sir, and other folks sir, so they can give my contact details and I will help you out. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for this very insightful and uh, interesting session. We learned a lot about, uh, you know, you can give us uh, tips about uh, the startups and all the problems, issues we face. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, now, uh, if uh, nobody has any question, I'll move on to vote of thanks. Oh. Okay, so I would like to thank the principal, sir, uh, his absence for providing uh, us with this wonderful opportunity and also like to thank our registrar sir, our uh, HOD sir, and uh, all the uh, IHC members uh, here. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Already shared uh, the feedback link, uh, so the, the QR code. Please uh, scan it and put a feedback. Then uh, afterwards, if, if any colleagues uh, regarding this uh, startup uh, or any want to build on uh, entrepreneur, so please uh, the, the contact me. Uh, I will uh, share the same information to the, the and then uh, you will give some of uh, the funding.
You can do that. So the auto make your phone company. <coughs> Thank you, Sharapan. You spent a, a lot of time to prepare uh, slides, and then uh, you can motivate the students to become a entrepreneur. So, so thank you, thank you once again. Uh, so I'm here for the uh, Department of CSC uh, and uh, uh, in association with uh, IAC, AJCAG. Uh, and also in this way, the principal sir and principal sir and management of AJCAG. And I'm uh, very thankful to come here and brief about uh, the startup and uh, the, how to plan for the startup and the and ethical steps. Thank you. Again. For the online participants, if anybody is having any doubt, you can unmute yourself, you can ask the doubt. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, I am Dr. Mitta Shaker Hello. Hello. I am Dr. Mitta from Kalpata Institute of Technology. And okay. uh, thank you for giving an opportunity. And on behalf of our students, like uh, they would like to export some. Uh, vegetables from India, okay, yeah, from, uh, especially from Tiptur. Yeah, vegetables. For okay. that, uh, they would like to go for the startup company. Uh, how they have want to go? How they have to go? Their doubt. Uh, madam, for that, there is a extent presentation is required. Like in vegetables, different vegetables are there. So what are the vegetables they are planning to export, and their quality standards under the uh, food and uh, Development Act is there as the government. So we have to file our data into that portal. Once it's got approved, obviously, of course, the receiving country also accept your food quality, like vegetables, uh, qualities, and what and all chemicals, fertilizers, it's used in that. Some standard is there. If you can take my details and contact me, I will help you out on that matter. If you want, you can note down my number, madam. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That is in the auditorium. We have kept this actually, and all the students are attending, sir. Uh, they ask few doubts for that reason only. Thank you, yes, sir, Dr. Rath. Anything you can do, sir, no any problem, but we have to follow certain formalities because for export, there is an export standard is there. First, we have to apply for export license. Yes, and sir. then, as, as I said, what are the vegetables you are, you are uh, planning to export? And uh, yes, the quality sir. aspects of those vegetables. Because receiving countries will ask all these uh, documents from this. Yes, sir. And uh, one more thing, sir. Uh, my student, few students are into the already into the business. Activated carbon they are manufacturing here. Presently okay. they are uh, they are selling to the Tamil Nadu companies. They want to have their own companies. So okay. it's not the new it is not the new product. It is not the mm -hmm. new idea. But the is it be is it uh, considered as the startup company or else how to go about sir? Sir, for startup there is a Validity, for example, let's say if it is more than three years, you will not come under startup. You will not get any benefits. If it is one to two years, obviously you will get all the benefits. Have they registered the company under MCSR? Do they have CIA number? Or if they have their startup certificate, startup India certificate, which is issued by government, also fine. Yes, sir. So have they registered their company under the MCA? Or they are doing some private business? Sir, we. 
uh, he is the student sir he is already doing that okay so what is your name so sir i am dikshit dikhi dikshit uh, first year first semester mba sir okay प्लेटफॉर्म टू सेल युअर प्रोडक्ट ओके Right. Okay, sir. Or you are already uh, tied up with any established company and selling the products? Sorry, no, sir. Okay, you do one thing. Uh, send my details to you. Okay. You can take my details uh, from the uh, coordinator. You send me some of the details to my mail so I have given to them. Okay, I will help you definitely. If you have a little ready product, well and good. I will just scrutinize that whether uh, have you done any quality certificates for that product. If available, you send in mail to that. I will definitely connect to some of the customers and I will help you out in all the way. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. So Thank you. Okay, Mr. Ashwin Kumar, do you have any questions? Sorry, your voice is not audible. Sir, kindly unmute yourself, then you can speak, sir. So this they can send the queries to me. So I will talk to them one over another. Yeah. Ashwin sir, your voice is not audible. Sir, we'll share the details. Can you unmute your uh, mic, sir? And he's talking into the microphone. Any queries from audience? Right, right. Okay. So I start from the the sessions. Once again, I will thank the session also to address the gathering. Thank you once again, Andy, for the opportunity in association with the IAC Agency. Thank you. Thank you. अश्विन सर कल्स
ಕೈ ಕೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ದಶೆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಬಹುಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಈ ದಶೆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್